Hi, my name is Kmot. This is a continuation of a presentation in branches for financial accounting in five. For ease of reverence, I'd like to refer to this presentation as part 2.1.4, and I'd like to tackle goods to branch. I'd like to continue with the question paper, which was written on the 22nd of November, 2016. Requirement 2.1.4 required candidates to prepare goods to branch account. I'm going to use the Excel spreadsheet to illustrate the preparation of uh, goods to branch. Before I even go to the nitty gritties or the completion of goods to branch, I quickly want to highlight important principles pertaining to goods to branch. The head office will normally purchase stock for the entire business, that is for the head office and for its branches. This will be done in order to ensure that quality is achieved in purchases of stock. The head office will allocate uh, stock to different uh, branches uh, from its stock. So essentially, the stock will be allocated from purchases and any opening stock that might be in existence. The accounting implication is that the goods to branch will be utilized to reflect the transaction relating to um, the allocation of stock to various branches. I quickly want to take you to the spreadsheet that we're going to use. That's basically the T-account that we're going to use relating to goods to branch. Just like all other T-accounts, it has a debit and a credit site. When the head office sends stock to branches, we'll place that transaction on the credit site. This transaction indicates a decrease in the stock relating to the head office. And the, to complete the double entry system, the debit will be taken to the debit side of the branch stock, of branch stock as branch stock will be increasing. Let's quickly go to um, the requirement. There you go, that's the requirement. Let's quickly identify those transactions that will affect the goods to branch uh, account. I'm just quickly going to highlight in order to save time. Those transactions do not affect the goods to branch. Therefore, I'm not even going to talk about them, nor am I going to take them into account. However, that transaction, let me quickly highlight, will affect the goods to branch. Uh, goods received from head office so uh, since uh, we're using the goods to branch, the goods to branch will decrease by an amount of 11,280 and the branch stock will increase by that amount. Therefore, we're going to take this to the credit side of the goods to branch. There you go. The contra account will be branch stock. So if you go to the debit side of the branch stock, you'll see an amount of 11,280 relating to the stock that was sent by the head office to the branch. Moving along swiftly, returns to head office. This transaction communicates the transfer of stock between the branch and the head office and therefore will impact the goods to branch and the branch stock. But in this case, because we're focusing on the goods to branch, we're going to take the amount of 280 Remember, the stock relating to the head office is increasing due to the returns attributable to the branch. Therefore, this will impact, will be taken on the de debit side, will be taken to the debit side of goods to branch. There you go. And we're going to use the same contra account, branch stock. Remember, in this case, branch stock will reduce by the amount of returns to head office. I already looked uh, at other transactions. None of the transactions affect the goods to branch. Those were the only transactions. Uh, so this was one of the simple uh, accounts you can be required to, to complete. As I've mentioned earlier on, it doesn't balance. See, the debit side is not equal to the credit side. So we need to balance the two. Let's quickly do the balancing. I'm going to take that amount. I'm going to say this amount. 
and I'm going to deduct that amount. As you can see, the two are equal. Now the description will be head office, head office, trade account. Remember this affects uh, stock, so it will be taken to the head office in order for the head office to determine its gross profit. It works differently in branches, but for the head office, we're still going to use the account called the trade account to determine the gross profit attributable to the entire business. So yeah, that's it. Uh, the total mark allocation was three marks because there aren't many transactions relating to goods to branch. Um, if there are any questions, please feel free to post them to my cell number or my email address. Thank you.